Tiny Harris, T.I.'s wife, files for divorce, okay? Real quick before I get into the gist of what this really is, all right? Um, she filed for divorce on December 7th. We found out yesterday, December 28th, okay? So this was something that was supposedly done in discreet by Tiny. Um, can I say that I'm shocked? Hell no, I ain't shocked. At all. Am I happy? No. Am I sad? No. Okay? But I could have seen this coming. I didn't want to project it because I don't really believe in putting negativity out in the air. But I knew it was coming. Because when I watched interviews with Tiny, I could tell that she was lying. This whole Floyd Mayweather thing when she lied on Mariah Carey. Okay? Saying that Mariah Carey made her take the picture and she was dancing with Floyd Mayweather. Knowing she had no damn business dancing with that man. Okay? And then she said on Wendy Williams that her ring didn't fit because she busted her knuckle and I showed you a close-up of the ring. What? Nothing wrong with this ring. The whole time, Tiny is telling y'all one story, I see another story. And I see that this woman has been trying for a long time to get T.I.'s attention. And this is the last straw, the divorce. Now, the divorce was just supposed to be a wake-up call. I believe the shit when I see it. When it's, when it's done and stamped by the judge, that's when I'll believe it. Right now, I think it's just another way for her to make T.I. pay attention to her. Okay? Now, a lot of y'all got mad when I called her ugly. Y'all say I ain't had no place to do that. Or why would I talk down on another black woman? Okay? Now, I want to explain myself, and a lot of y'all kind of read between the lines and understood where I was coming from, and I commend a lot of y'all for doing that, but let me explain myself a little more. Now, usually I don't have to explain myself, but in this case, I will, because this is such a sensitive subject when it comes to marriages breaking up and families being broken apart because two people don't know how to act. So, when I said Tiny was ugly, Tiny is ugly right now inside and out and she has been and we've seen the evolution of that ugliness tiny used to be cute back in the day when she was with escape very cute distinct she had a very rare and distinct look and i think if she had kept that look okay she probably could have made a lot a lot more money off of that look okay because nobody looked like tiny back in the day but when she decided to change her eyes to look like becky from buckhead and she decided to buy Karen's stomach from John's Creek. And then she decided to buy Tomika's ass from Magic City. And then decided to buy Keisha's titties from Blue Flame. That's when Tiny became ugly. Because I knew at that moment this woman was insecure. And that's not a woman that I'm going to give any credit to. Because I don't look up to that type of shit. Okay? The same way I talk about Tiny... It's the same way I talk about my cousin. And my cousin was living this type of lifestyle and I saw her doing all this stuff just to make a man happy, thinking that she's going to build a perfect woman for him. And in reality, he doesn't want a perfect woman. He wants a variety of women. I'm going to call her stupid, dumb, and ugly as hell. And I'm not taking back shit I said, okay? Now, I know this is a critical time for them. But like I said, I'm not shocked. When you date a celebrity, you got to do two things. And that's why a lot of these celebrity marriages don't last because they're not marriages. They're contracts, okay? You either got to partake in what they're doing or you got to let them cheat. And she made her choice until she realized that she was a person and not a contract. Now, I'm happy for Tiny if she's happy. If this is the way she's going to reclaim her self-esteem and her security, then I wish her all the best. And this is a very hard decision to make to break up your family just so that you can regain who you once were. Now, hell, to tell you the truth, I think that she don't went to the last doctor and the doctor said, listen, we can't do no more for you, okay? You gonna have to go and learn how to deal with yourself. Okay, we can't fix no more shit on you. You got to do the work now. And this is the work that she's doing. Now, this divorce is just another plea, like I said, to get T.I.'s attention. She wants T.I. to fight for her in public. She wants T.I. to say how much he loves his wife and that he's sorry and that he's, he's going to do better. But the truth is, 
she agreed to all of this. Now you can't change what you eventually said was, was okay in the beginning. T.I. is a good husband to me because he was honest and she wasn't going to catch AIDS because if she were going to catch AIDS, he was going to tell her about it before she got it. That's the man you want to be with, somebody that's transparent. And I'll stick with that until I leave this earth. When you got a man that's fully transparent with you, not saying that's the man you want to be with, but that's the man you want to trust, okay? Now, a lot of women just like Tiny, a lot of y'all because y'all look up to and you just think these celebrities are just gods, okay? Just realizing you go and do this to yourself, okay? Because you feel that a man is supposed to be your main course. He's supposed to be your breakfast. He's supposed to be your lunch. He's supposed to be your dinner. In reality, a man is only, only supposed to be your dessert. That's it. Just your dessert. Okay, but a lot of y'all just got it twisted in your head. He's supposed to be your dessert. Sweets, they're good, they're orgasmic, they give you a small high, but if you eat too much of it, okay, it's gonna leave you with excess calories and damn health problems, okay? Sugar causes diabetes and Alzheimer's. Has you forgetting a lot of shit about yourself and that's what will happen to you if you put too much of you into a man. And I don't feel sorry for no woman that has done that, okay? I got some age on me. I've been married 11 years, still happily married. But the moment, okay, I see that I'm letting me go, I'm going to let me go until I can get me back right. Then I'll present myself to another man or maybe that same man. Now, I think this is going to be a remarriage because I honestly think that T.I. and Tiny, like I said it before, that is that is T.I.'s woman only, okay? They were just made for each other. And this mess that she's been doing, being indecisive in the public, sending little clues here like we stupid and dumb, I ain't falling for that shit. And like I said, I'll believe the divorce when it's final, which I really don't think it's probably going to be final. And if it does happen to go through, it's gonna be because she's listened to her best friend, Toya Wright, who has walked in her shoes. She had two husbands that liked to play and asked her too to have threesomes. But when she saw that that stuff was just not something that she could deal with, she backed off. Now, if Tiny goes through with this, it's going to be because she has finally listened to her friends. Now, I hope that y'all will take something from her story and then from this video and you won't go and alter yourselves that much and have all of these babies because once you do that it's going to be really hard for a man to come and pick up all of that trash don't do that shit don't do that shit and when i see somebody i don't care the status what status they on i don't care how much money they got when i see bullshit i'm calling bullshit okay and this woman ain't nobody's idol at all right now now maybe when she comes through this I will praise Tiny, but right now I, I can't praise that shit. I can't praise, I can't praise no damaged woman at all. I don't give a damn how much money she got, how many TV contracts she got, how many people she know. I don't give a damn. That is not a person I aspire to be like. Now I pray honestly for this entire family and I pray that they will be able to heal this and work this out without these kids growing up insecure, damaged, and ugly as hell, okay? So my prayers are for T.I. and Tiny. Sorry this was so harsh, but the truth is the damn truth. And the same way I would talk to my family members and my friends is the same way I talk to these celebrity asses, okay? Now I gotta go. My husband awaits me, okay? And he ain't, he is proud to have these these titties that nursed for three years and this ass that's sagging okay and this big ass nose because he loves me for me and the moment he don't damn it i'm leaving but i ain't altering my shit i'm leaving i gotta go